everybody. Hello. My name is Patrick. I'm Rupert. This is Rupert. He's going to be my helper uh, this week. Hi. It's Thursday, which means that we are going to be making a recipe mm -hmm. uh, that it only takes three ingredients. One, two, three. One, two, three. And why are we doing only three ingredients? Because uh, I can't count to four. Because Rupert can't count to four. And if you can't count to four, uh, you can still make a recipe with us because we only use three ingredients. Do you know what we're going to make this week? Uh, pizza? Uh, no, not three ingredient pizza. Uh, spaghetti? I already did spaghetti sauce. Uh, ice cream! We can make a three ingredient ice cream. Ice cream! You like ice cream? I like ice cream. Ice cream for ice cream. Great! Well, if you like ice cream, Stay tuned, so we're going to get started with the three ingredient recipe for ice cream. Yay! The three ingredients that you'll need for this recipe are two cups of very cold heavy whipping cream, 14 ounces or one can of sweetened condensed milk, and then whatever flavoring you're going to want. Um, we are actually using a chocolate mint uh, syrup. You can use chocolate syrup, uh, you can use vanilla extract, you can use whatever you want. If you're going to be using chocolate syrup, use about a quarter of a cup or however much of the syrup you need uh, or extract that you need for uh, the flavoring that you want. That's mostly to taste, so don't worry about uh, the levels too much on that. But remember, it's two cups heavy cream and one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. The first step is to mix your sweetened condensed milk uh, with your flavoring. Uh, you're going to take that and put it into a small bowl. Uh, make sure you get the full can, so you're probably going to want to use a spatula or something to empty out the full can of the sweetened condensed milk. To the sweetened condensed milk, you're going to add about one quarter cup of the chocolate syrup or the appropriate amount of any other type of flavoring that you're going to use. And then you just mix the two together until they're thoroughly combined. Next, in a chilled bowl, uh, just throw a glass bowl into the fridge um, and chill that for a little bit. You're going to put your two cups of cold whipping cream And then with an electric mixer, you're just going to mix that until it forms stiff peaks. You can do this step by hand if you want to, but it's going to take you a, a really long time to whip two cups of whipping cream. So I do really recommend that you use an electric mixer for this. So what you want is a good stiff peak. You don't want this to churn so much that it turns into butter, but you do want it to stay on your whisk or stay on your electric mixer quite easily. Now, the next step is going to be folding in your sweetened condensed milk into your cream. You want to do this really delicately because otherwise it's going to deflate and you're going to lose uh, the quality, the soft quality that the ice cream has. So when you're folding ingredients into one another, you just want to bring your spatula from the bottom to the top and make sure that you don't disturb the air that's in the cream too much. You still want it to be light and fluffy to retain the qualities of whipped cream because that's what's going to give this this nice silky, uh, nice mouthfeel that good chocolate ice cream or good any ice cream uh, has. When your mixture is well combined, then you're just going to put it into a freezer safe container. I happen to have this ice cream container that a friend of mine gave me. Um, and then you're going to put this into the freezer for uh, four hours or until it's completely hardened. When you're filling an ice cream container, you're going to want to make sure that it goes all the way to the top so that the cover of your ice cream container or whatever container you're using will actually seal against the top of the ice cream. This will prevent any crystals from forming on the top um, and it will make a much more smooth and creamy ice cream. What are you doing? Has it been four hours yet? It has not even been ten minutes yet. Oh. What? Is it time to eat yet? No, I said four hours. But I can't count to four. I'll tell you. Okay. 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 <laughs>
Hey. Hey. Hi. Hi. Guess what? What? It's time. It's time. Ice cream. It's to ice cream. <laughs> Yay! After about four hours have passed, or if you wanted to keep it overnight, you just take your ice cream out of the freezer. You can then scoop your ice cream, just like you would normal ice cream. It will come out a little bit softer uh, than other ice creams. It will have the consistency more of a frozen yogurt or a soft serve, but it's just as delicious, very light, and very creamy. So if you want a really delicious, easy to make, three ingredient ice cream, this is the recipe for you. Is it good? Uh, it's very good. Did you want to try some? Uh, later. Why not now? People are watching. So? Well, I'm embarrassed. Why are you embarrassed? I eat like a pig. Oh. So that's it. Yay! Uh, one last thing. Uh, if you like this video, what can you do to help? Uh, subscribe. You can subscribe. And, 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 and share. And share it. And comment. And comment. And also you can like it. So if you like these three ingredient recipes, we are here every Thursday. If you're here for hair videos, that's every Tuesday. And if you're here for George, you know George, right? Uh -huh. He's the kitty. He's the kitty. He tells He's you how... Kitty. He's a kitty. He tells you how to be good to yourself. And he shows up every weekend. Until later, bye-bye. Bye-bye.